Back good people to prize draw Sunday the results now this we believe is probably the best prize draw yet I think so don't you I reckon not because of the value of the prize we've had higher values in the past but I think because of the sort of thing it is it's the kind of tool that is going to make you a better mechanic and that has to be good don't you think I think so don't you now we posed what we felt was quite an easy question but we did ask it in a certain way so yes. you needed to listen to the question the question we posed was what was the first series of tutorial videos we did? Absolutely, it's in the question, the first series. Loads and loads and loads of people said the first video was taking the pump out of the Harley tank. That was practically the first video, but it wasn't a series, it was just the one. And there were many others. However, the correct answer, Pedipitstop, was? It was the Harley XR1200 service, That's one it. to three. One to three. That's what we did. If you go back in the, obviously all these things have to be traceable. You have to be able to check that the answers we've given or the question we asked was a traceable thing. So go to the playlist, go back to the mechanical and servicing section, yep. and you'll see the very first, in date order, the very first series we did was part one, two, and three, servicing my old XR1200 back at the very first garage, wasn't it? Yes. Five, six years ago. So that was the correct answer. Uh, how many did you have? What was the overall amount of entries? Oh, like six, five, six hundred? Yeah, I had 563 entries. Wow, well, that's an awful and lot. And I had 207 correct. 207 is not many, is it? So honestly, you do have to listen to the question, people. It's not just a difficult or easy question. It's the way we pose it. You have to listen. You have to think about it. I think that's worth working for a prize like this, don't you? Mm. There we are. Right. That proves it wasn't that difficult because over 200 of you got it right. Now, before we actually draw the winner, we have had rather a lot of questions in the last week or so. What we've been doing in the last four videos is a series on servicing the fat boy. Now, for a very long time since I had my Sportster and started doing the Sportster videos at the beginning, I wanted to do a series of videos on a Harley fat boy or on a soft tail generally, just a big twin. So breaking up that big four hour service into four or five separate videos. Now we've so far at the point of recording this, we're down to the last one. We've just got a big oil change to do where we're gonna purge the oil and show you that in detail. And that'll be filmed this week, ready for midweek upload, won't it? And that's pretty cool. So until this moment, we haven't really bothered to talk about the questions. Lots and lots of you have asked about the garage. Obviously it's changed. But because of the series of videos we've been doing, we didn't want to address that, did we? No. Because in, in five years' time, when those, those videos are being watched and viewed still, the, what we do with the garage and where we put the cabinets is quite irrelevant, really. And it's just going to block up the videos and it's going to make a tutorial video cluttered and difficult to watch. So in that sense, we left it till today, didn't we? So what we thought we would do is give you a little look around just to show you the kind of things that I did to make this a much more workable space not only to look better, but to most importantly work a lot better for me and for us when we're filming, so that you get a better image of things and we still have a little way to go. So let's show you, in hopefully to answer a few of the questions you had, what the difficulties we had and how hard it was, and then we'll get back to doing this in a few seconds, yeah? Right. Grab the camera. I'm Grab the camera, let's have a look. Okay, first of all, if you remember when we first started this, the very first big build was right along this side, the big five meter unit and the two cupboards at the end, that was huge and that's fantastic. It did look really awesome. And because of this pillar, come around here, Penny, let's have a look. Because of this pier, this is a great deal if you mentioned this, this big brick pier in the middle, this was causing a problem. It's about 120 mil deep in places and 100 mil deep in others. It's not, not particularly straight. Because of that, I couldn't push the units right back because this unit here, this was five units long. So what I decided to do instead was break that up. I took the two units off the end spun them around and put them over there. So these last two units now, this was the corner unit, if you remember, came to here. That's just the corner unit in itself. And I just put two more on the end of it. So that makes the same both sides. So now when you stand back, you can see we've got a much wider space because on this sense, I was able to push those three units back right against the wall, so far and so hard against the wall now that I've just had a cut little hole and as you can see the plug sockets come through. Loads of you gave us advice on plugs, loads of you, even electricians, 
so offered to come over, didn't they, Pen? Yes. And, and put some sockets on the front here. I, I could do that. I could buy some socket blocks and we could wire it in from one of these holes and put a socket block there, then sticks out here. Whereas the way I've done it, they're actually flush. All these plug units are flush, and I may well put metal fronts on them later, but that's not really important. Same over this side. I've now got these completely flush with the units. That was the idea. On the back of these units, there's a little stay. The actual strength in these extrusions or these folded frames sticks back about an inch and it is hard against the wall. So what it means is we've got all this unit hard back against the wall, which overall, from the first incarnation of this setup, it gave us an extra foot in workable width at this end where the lift is. So I've now got more room around the bike than I had before. When we had the original bench across there, I didn't have this much room around the bike. I've never had this much room around the bike, so I'm really chuffed with this. It gives us a great space. Also, what it has given me is an opportunity now. I'm going to get a big pillar drill. I've managed to acquire a big used vintage pillar drill, um, quite an old one, about 25 years old, and that's going to go in that space there. So it gives me also a proper pillar drill. I love that sort of thing. And one final thing, loads of you commented on, was the new big monster vice. So I'll show you that as well, and then we'll get on with the price drop. Right, loads of you asked about this in the last video or so, um, and it, all I did was I think we put something in it, didn't we, to demonstrate. Um, this vice is indeed a monster, as loads of you said. It's absolutely colossal. It's a British record number six. It was a gift from a viewer, so thank you so much for that. It's an absolutely awesome piece of kit. It's probably about, I reckon, 40 years old, I would imagine. Um, it weighs a rather astonishing five and a half stone. It's extremely heavy. It doesn't like being picked up. Well, not unless it's two people. And I will be making a little video of this shortly. It's had some work done already, as you can see here. It's had some new jaws put in, some new smooth jaws uh, made out of tool steel. So they're extremely hard and I'm going to make some aluminium, um, it's just some alley angle I'm going to use as a gripper in there because that won't grip things, it will just squash them. So obviously with the power this thing has got as well. So that will be a little restoration video. Um, just going to clean it up, get all the old 25, 30 years of paint off it and then repaint it into its original colour and it will take a bit of research to find out what that was. It was one of these blues or greens originally and I'll repaint it back to that colour. Probably the light green, a bit like the, the, the drill press. But that is a very, very nice item. I absolutely love old tools. I love old vintage tools. You can't buy a vice like this easily these days. You really can't. And if you do, they cost an absolute fortune. So yeah, happy to have that. Big old record number six. And it's going to go bolted down to the end of this bench and it'll be for all the fabricating work. Right, should we do a prize draw pen? Yeah, they're all waiting. All waiting, let's get on with it. Right, so let's pick a winner, shall we? Yeah. Um, just to recap, this was a prize that we think is just about as good as it gets. It's the Torque Vario, Weha Torque Vario ST Plus. It's a T-bar style torque wrench. You saw it in the week on the Harley video. I used it to do up the casing bolts. Um, because the lower torque settings, this is from five to 14 Newton meters, down around 10, 12 foot pounds. That's the sort of torque setting that is very, very critical because they mustn't be done up too tight. They're the sort of things you can overdo and then cause strippage and cause damage to the bike and that's what then makes jobs extremely expensive when all you intended to do was take care of a few of your outlaying expenses. This sort of tool will make you more professional and it will make you a better mechanic all the way down the line. It is a very professional tool. It doesn't just, it isn't just do what it says. It is a proper calibrated professional tool. It comes with a calibration certificate with it and if at any point you want to have it recalibrated you can send it back to we Heart and they will do that for you so it's a rather amazing piece of kit and the sort of thing that you may well see in the hands of a master technician working on an aircraft and i don't say that lightly I really don't so that's a really nice bit of kit that is cool and i love the one i've got it's going to get a lot of action certainly on the harleys <laughs> okay so i'm going to leave that there and we need to pick a winner it's an Anything? awesome prize it is a rather awesome prize they're all in there all in there you're going to stir them up pick a winner Penny, can stop? i am Good luck. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Awesome prize. Right. right. That is good. Pick a winner. Pick a winner. There we go. And the winner is... Timothy Ham in Southampton. Whoa, Timothy Ham in Southampton. Show the camera. Show the wow, camera. Wow, what a prize. That are the winner. There we are. Timothy Ham. Southampton. There we go. Congratulations oh, to you, Tim. Well Congratulations to you, my friend. That is a fantastic prize, and we hope you can make good use of it. Yeah. Uh, being as that Southampton, we may well work out a plan with you 
Uh, so you can either come here and pick it up to the garage, or perhaps we can come and see you, or something like that. Somewhere. You can make us a cover. You can make us a cover, <laughs> and a cake, of course, it is obligatory. So you never oh. know. Oh, fantastic. We had some amazing entries from we all did. over the place. Yeah. Um, I do try and reply to everybody. Definitely. I can't always reply, but I have been replying to everyone. That's it. Yeah, that, that so sort of messages. You. That's the point, isn't it? The lovely messages that you send with your entries, that means a lot. Because imagine it from our side of the camera lens. We don't really see who you are. We don't know anything about you. You're just a name on a page. You know about us. You see what we do. We perform all this for you so you can enjoy it but you're just a voice or a, or a name to us. So it's fantastic to hear the stories, the things that you tell us, it really makes a difference. It gives us a sort of human touch, doesn't it? Yeah, and it keeps us motivated and inspired. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you write that yourself? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There we go, thanks for watching folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Congratulations to Tim, we'll be in touch very shortly. And join us midweek for the next and the final instalment on the Harley Davidson series. Once that's done, back on the build. Many, many of you want us back on the fighter build, so it will start next weekend. Next Saturday will be the first video back on the fighter build, we promise. Okay, right. take it easy. Anything else? Thank you. Ride safe, see you next time.